Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for all zodiac signs for Saturday the 18th going into Sunday the 19th of February 2023. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend reading, I am using the Star Tarot by Cathy McClelland. Okay, friends, uh, my internet is very, very glitchy. Um, I'm becoming more glitchy by the day. Um, so I'm uh, taking the opportunity. It's Thursday the um, 16th, as I record. So I'm just taking the opportunity <laughs> to do the weekend reading while I can. Okay, so for this weekend, uh, depending where you are in the world, over the 19th and the 20th, we have a new supermoon in Pisces. Um, I really feel that with this new supermoon and Pisces, um, you'll kind of be... Um, ebbing and flowing between two uh, different states, a state of um, action or or being in pause, um, a state of holding on or, or letting go. Um, and as I wrote all that down, I had uh, the image in my mind of... Um, like when you've got fish swimming swimming around and you you put your finger in the water um, and where they were once kind of seeming to be at rest in the water, all of a sudden they dart off. Um, I, I really feel that that is the energy that is going to be around this new super moon. Ooh, OK, so let's start this weekend reading with an inspiration from Starseed's Wisdom for Spiritual Growth. Here we go. So I really feel you're going to feel this strong Pisces water energy <laughs> very strongly. Whoop, okay. It looks like we've been given two, but that's fine. Okay, your first of of two. Star seed. Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light. Okay, that's going to really help you. And your second inspirational message is... Fruition. Rest assured, your dreams and visions will come to fruition. Um, just radiate that beautiful, vibrant light of yours and uh, know that your dreams and wishes are going to be coming to fruition. Okay, and let's see what wonderful message and advice Spirit has for us for this weekend. And here we go. Ooh, okay, and how would you like to go like that? What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? Saturday the 18th, going into Sunday the 19th. of February 2023. What do my wonderful friends need to know? Okay. So your cards for this weekend are the Seven of Wands Oh wow, followed by Major Arcana, 17, the star. Uh, your dreams and wishes coming to fruition, my wonderful friends. Wow. And finishing with the Five of Swords. So your first card is the Seven of Wands. Seven, the number <clears throat> of magic, of spirituality, um, of 
you being uh, diligent and I really feel here that you are uh, digging deep, standing firm, standing strong for what you believe in. Uh, a wonderful illustration for the Seven of Wands. Uh, we have a ring of or a circle of stones um, around you um, and these uh, flames for me representing standing stones. Um, so you are protected. This is another message for you from Spirit of how protected you are at the moment moment because you are on oh okay I'm having a blues brother moment <laughs> you're on a mission for God um and and uh, the character here, if I hold the card up, you can see that there is this uh, pathway. Um, it's your spiritual journey. Uh, it's going to your heart. Here you are holding your hand on your heart. Um, and you're roaring like a lion. You There's real lion energy and um, the major arcana, the strength card, where we usually see the lion. Um, The inner strength that you are um, radiating out into the world, because I'm really feeling this uh, star seed, okay, uh, raising the vibration of the planet through your radiant, loving light, and that is the uh, the strength card. Uh, no understanding that real strength comes from care, kindness compassion, gentleness, um, grace is another word I am being given. Um, and I'm also drawn to the stars. Look at the stars that you have around you. So uh, favoured, another word that I am being given, uh, but you are standing strong for your beliefs, for, for your journey. Um, you are not being pulled from your path. You are not being swayed. Um, and although I do feel with this new super moon in Pisces, this ebbing and, and flowing and uh, action or pause uh, I do feel that with this courage uh, the, this lion strength and inner courage you have you will know you will know when to take action you will know when to be quiet you will know when to hold on and you will know when to let go um, this is more of you trusting that um, intuition that innate inner knowing that is built within you and it's like you're coming online spirit is saying <laughs> you are coming online and um you are radiating you are lighting up you are um hmm becoming leading lights um beacons of light i'm also hearing oh, wow 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 okay <clears throat> next we have major arcana number 17 the star major arcana speak of your inner world your inner knowing your major inner knowledge and the star card uh, related to aquarius uh, again with although aquarius is an air sign um the star is always represented by um the water uh flowing uh, equally uh, so i do feel that when you are caught maybe between these two um states of being that are going to be coming uh, over this weekend uh, you can dip into the energy of the star and remember stay hopeful remember um restoring peace uh, the star is also um it's a card of healing it, it is a card of inspiration and following your um inspiration it's, it's hopes, dreams and wishes being granted. So it's more of this energy, my wonderful friends. Rest assured, because your dreams and visions will come true. OK. Oh, OK. And as I look at the illustration, we can see the star. Uh, she has her one foot there dipped in the water, uh, uh, one on the... Um, on terra firma if you like uh, but the dipping in the water uh, again I'm being shown it's like dipping your toe or your finger in the water and where the uh, fish were kind of at rest and at peace uh, they kind of are, are moved motivated in into action uh, so it's about really feeling around uh, feeling in that beautiful heart of yours uh, feeling around in your um emotional um 
side of yourself, your emotions and your feelings. Uh, like I've said, I really do think that you're really going to be feeling um, these energies this weekend. Um, just see if anything else is coming. If you've been, felt a bit stagnant in your creativity, there will be a, a, a return, a, a real um, return to flowing creativity I'm being given. Um, and as we look at the illustration, OK, uh, finding the balance between uh, your uh, emotions and being grounded. So, uh, again, not allowing outside influences to pull you away, standing strong uh, for what you believe in because you know you are uh, divinely protected. Um, the butterflies are around the star, uh, the butterflies of change and what is the change? The change is, is your hopes, dreams and wishes coming to fruition. Um, and I'm being given the new earth again. It's a, um, what would you want to see um, in, in the future, uh, in, on your path, your, your, your destiny. Uh, the star card is also about cosmic connection. So um, remembering that what you are putting out there, as in um, energy, vibration and frequency, also uh, your words and your thoughts. Uh, so make it one of um, how you would like to see uh, the new earth and how you would like to see uh, your future, your destiny play out for you. Woo! <laughs> OK, and next we have the Five of Swords. And these cards, you know, the Ten of Swords we had and now the Five of Swords, don't surprise me that they are coming up because, you know, this energy is it's trying to hang around. It is residual um, energy. Um Sorry, we didn't do the numerology. Uh, 17, 1 plus 7 does become 8. It is the number of manifestation, harvest, abundance, the self, believing in yourself, um, Spirit is saying. Uh, five, the number of conflict, crisis and chaos. But we also know that five is the agent for change. Um, the swords here, uh, five swords. So we have four representing the, uh, the four elements and one representing spirit. Uh, there is a coming together uh, in your heart. Um, and I really, I'm really drawn to this first card. Um, of you overcoming conflict, crisis and chaos by being in your heart, by being in your heart centre, by sending and radiating love, uh, kindness, care and compassion out into the world, helping to make this change, helping to bring in the new earth. Um, I'm really drawn to the cross in the background and I'm being given Christ consciousness. Although we don't have uh, the number 33 on the table, uh, the compassion of a master, uh, but I am being given from spirit Christ consciousness. Um, I'm, I'm feeling... That you are trusting your instinct, you are trusting your inspiration, you are trusting your uh, inner knowing and you are trusting your very inner being, your very um, essence um, to, to bring in these changes, to help co-create um, what we would like to envision um, in the new earth. <laughs> Ooh, wow, okay. So next we will have a card from Beyond Lemuria by Izzy Ivy. What is the message from Spirit? For my wonderful friends, for Saturday the 18th, going into Sunday the 19th, Ooh, too many, of February 2023, what do my wonderful friends need to know, thank you, 
and so your card is out and I will just lower the camera there we go and your card from beyond Lemuria is 51 the sound of the universe oh, come in under the seven of wands friends um, it's what you are radiating and vibrating out with your um, energy your vibration and your frequency uh, with the understanding that what you put out there um, is what comes back and you're making a real effort I'm picking up on um, this moment to moment that you are um, bringing yourself back to the present uh, constantly counseling yourself constantly reminding yourself uh, bringing yourself out of any mental uh, gymnastics that's been taking place um, on the inside uh, and coming back to your heart centre, knowing that um, that's where you are leading from. This is real leadership skills and qualities. Uh, 51, 5 and 1 does become the wonderful number 6. Uh, balance, harmony and unity. And that's what you are doing, constantly bringing yourself back into balance. Um, OK, I'm just being Ruby's giving me a bit of a riding lesson. So um, I'm, I'm sitting uh, uh, um, in the saddle um, astride Ruby and I'm being reminded, uh, sit up straight, uh, weight evenly distri distributed between each leg and uh, that centre of gravity. So your heart centre, really, really, really important this week. Well, it's important all the time, friends. It's where we should all be coming from all the time. OK. Life changing experiences, glimpsing the great mystery. Wow. <laughs> Significant timing, pivotal moments, the Sri Yantra, the tuning fork of universal consciousness, music, transcending mundane reality. This card signifies those pivotal moments that transcend belief, remind us of a greater reality and influence us so that life will never be the same again. When I started channeling paintings, I explored sacred geometry by including it as a key element in my creations without knowing much about its meaning. When I looked up the wisdom of the Sri Yantra, I was blown away. It symbolises the sound of the universe. The painting was crucial for me, as it was my make or break decider for whether I could fulfil my dream as a painter. It was also significant as I crashed my car, trying to steady the painting and momentarily taking my eyes from the road. The events that followed delivered the most spiritual growth I had experienced in this lifetime up until that point. And interest, interestingly, this piece has also vanished. The Sri Yantra is a powerful symbol described as the tuning fork that connects us to the universal consciousness. It is present in these aha moments. The fragments in time when life as we know it falls away to reveal a place outside mundane. It brings a sense of awe and overwhelms and yet it feels so real that it jolts us back to our core for a deeper remembering and it allows us to fathom our limit, limitlessness. And again, I'm being shown the fish <laughs> at rest and then um, motivated um, into action. Wow. So if we get any mental gymnastics, any conflict, um, inner conflict, inner crisis that comes up within you, remember to dip into that beautiful Christ consciousness, um, connect up with the divine, um, knowing then, that everything will be okay. All your hopes and dreams, wishes will be coming to fruition. Why? Because spirit has said so. Okay, next we will have a card from the Starseed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. So you are the tuning forks, my wonderful friends. You are the instrument. Oh, play. And musical notes, you know, 
we were, we're all trying to find that place of peace, that place of, of sanctuary. And Silka, thank you so much for um, for that link. If you go back to the weekly reading, I've pinned um, a link from Silka and she's left a wonderful um, uh, video. I think you'd find a great benefit from it. Um, but yes, if you're trying to, you know, that place of peace, that, that sanctuary, the, the gap, um, it's always the same with musical notes. The music is really between the notes. <laughs> Okay, oh, this is deep this weekend, friends. Woo, thank you. And your star seed oracle card is Oh, Hyreth, longing for home, homesick for the stars, the cosmic connection, friends. Keep you keep being reminded whenever you find yourself in a, a moment of fear, worry, anxiety, um, uh, unsureness, um, connect, <laughs> connect, connect, connect. OK. Hi, Earth. Oh, I don't know why I said it like that, but probably because it is Welsh and that's what they're telling me. <laughs> Hyreth is a Welsh word that's difficult to translate, but it refers to a certain longing or homesickness. A yearning for a home or place to which we cannot return. This unexplainable, unshakable longing for home is common in star seeds and old souls. Perhaps you've had it since birth. For some, it's a distant memory of a planet, galaxy or star system in the universe that their soul remembers and yearns to return to. A place they may have experienced more than Earth. For others, it's a longing for the unity of source, a remembering of interconnected oneness. This yearning can lead some starseeds to travel, searching all corners of the planet to find a physical place that feels more like home. For others, it can manifest as a need to find a home in people, communities and relationships. A journey to find somewhere they truly belong. If you resonate with this yearning for home but don't really know where home is, you're being invited to remember that your soul chose to be on earth. You're being called to fully commit to embodying your life. You're being reassured that you didn't come here alone and that your soul consciously decided to experience what it's like to be a soul in a human body on this planet at this time. You're being called to anchor all of your presence, your personality, your soul and your spirit in the here and now and to fully commit to living this life right now, to commit to putting two feet completely in. Your starseed soul inquiry is, how can I commit more fully to my life? Oh, wow, wow, wow. So again, friends, when you're having thoughts of being me up Scotty, and I know I've been having a lot of those recently, but I am one of those that um, had that feeling from the, from the very from the very off uh, but yes if you're feeling uh, those moments of being me up Scotty uh, keep bringing yourself back to the here and the now keep reminding yourself of your connection with the divine and with um, your cosmic uh, connection uh, your cosmic family wow 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 <laughs> okay let's just try and level these up friends okay well here we go Oracle of the Unicorns by Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Here we go. What is the message from Ruby? The kind red spirit. For my wonderful friends, for Saturday the 18th, going into Sunday the 19th of February 2023. What do my wonderful friends need to know, Ruby? Thank you. Oh, 
Okay. She's telling me it's the top one. Okay. So, your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is... Oh, wow. Oh, look at that, friends. <laughs> Colour coordinated this weekend. Rebirth. It's time to reinvent yourself. It's time to give life to your dreams. And it's time to create a new reality. Oh, and I love the illustration, Ruby. Look what our new earth can look like. It's unfolding. It's unfurling. Um, and just like this um, beautiful rose unfolding and unfurling, um, I'm also hearing that nothing's going to stop this uh, rebirth. Um, stop you reinventing yourself and giving life to your dreams oh wow <laughs> i love it okay ruby says are you willing to let go of everything that you are not in order to become who you really are the winged unicorn urges you to shed the false identities your ego has trapped you in so that you can emerge as the true divine you. It is time. It is your time to blossom and let the world see your inner beauty like the unfurling petals of a radiant rose. Your soul is calling for this reinvention by surrendering your old stories and changing your perception of yourself. Deep down, you know who you truly are and the potential that you hold. It's time to release anything that is not in alignment with your truth. Let your old life crumble and fade to make space for you to have powerfully for you to powerfully create a new reality of your choosing. You no longer have to be the person others want you to be. You no longer have to limit your life to what you feel is reasonable or possible. You can more easily create your bigger dreams. Once you embody your true self, the winged unicorns will help you. Well, Sorry, friends. The winged unicorns will help you when your ego fights and resists the change. They will hold you in love as you undergo a beautiful metamorphosis into your most magnificent self. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. What a wonderful message for this weekend, my friends. OK, and you have three trinkets. Two silver and one in gold. Uh, we'll do the silver first. Uh, the colour of the sacred divine feminine. Uh, you get the word love. Um, of course, we know love means love, uh, kindness, care and uh, and compassion. Uh, it's going on the seven of wands. It's, be it's because you are leading now from your beautiful heart centre. Um, next, also in silver, uh, we get another wonderful sunshine. Um, a ray of positivity. Um, this is uh, personal power. This is uh, liberation. This is vitality, um, vibrancy. Um, it's, it's happiness, it's success, and it is victory. It's going on the five of swords because <laughs> this is the um, this is where you are doing your greatest work, friends, and overcoming. Okay, and last but by no means least, in the colour of gold, the sacred divine masculine, uh, you get a helping hand. <laughs> um, this hand it brings it, it brings you happiness. It brings you uh, good luck. It brings health. It brings um, a helping hand up. I am also hearing. Um, it's going on Ruby's card. This is the help uh, where you are getting the most help is in uh, reinventing yourself, giving life to your dreams, and absolutely creating for yourselves a wonderful beautiful, amazing, magnificent, new reality. Wow, wow, wow. Well, thank you 
for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until next time, my friends, goodbye.